They are called raccoons. Can you say that? Raccoon. It begins with the letter R. Raccoon. And have you ever seen them? Do, they, are, do you see them out in your yard right now? Probably not. We'll talk about that in a minute. But one of the coolest things that you have to know about raccoons is they are really known for hiding in garbage cans. They love to eat our garbage and dig through it and cause all kinds of messes, don't you? Yep. Yep, that's right, they do. So that is what we're reading about today, rascally raccoons. So there's so many cool things that you need to know about raccoons. One of my favorite animals, I will say, and you know why? Because they're so smart and I just think they're cute looking too. They look cuddly, but I don't know if I'd want to tangle with one. They've got very, very sharp claws. So we have all different kinds of books about raccoons, if you're interested. All kinds of books, what you can learn about raccoons. Because they're all over the place. We just don't see them because they're nocturnal. Did you know what nocturnal means? That means they only come out at night. So they're probably sleeping right now. They can live in many places, including your backyard. And most live in forests and meadows that they can live in cities and near beaches too. Also, they often live near water. And did you know that they're great swimmers? I didn't know that, but they're very good swimmers. They usually like to make their homes near water, but in trees. They're very good climbers and they call their homes a den like a bear does. And they usually pile it up with a lot of nice leaves, make it cozy and soft and keep themselves warm. And they stay in their den most of the day and then they come out and they're active at night. And that's why we call them nocturnal. Another thing you may wanna know is they're omnivores. And what you say, what is an omnivore? Well, they look for many kinds of food. They'll eat fruit, nuts, and small animals such as fish and mice. And that's why we call them omnivores. They eat plants and other animals. And I just love, look at those hands. Look at that. A raccoon's front paws move like our hands. And they've got those long claws that make them really great tree climbers. And they're really good at opening gates and fences because they have fingers like we do and they're very, very smart. So always look out, be on the lookout at night because they'll be up and they might, if you have a cherry tree or an apple tree, they like to snack on things like that. So you never know if you're gonna come eye to eye with a raccoon at night. I always like their striped tails too. So they look like they're wearing a mask like a bandit and I just think they're adorable. But anyway, like I said, you hear rattling garbage cans at night? That might be our friends, the raccoons. My first story that I'm gonna share with you is called Raccoon Tune. It is written by Nancy Shaw, illustrated by Howard Fine, and I'm reading it with permission from the publisher. This just tells us about how silly and noisy they can be at nighttime. Moonlight June night, just right for raccoon night. Not too dark, not too bright as we look for treats. Gotta be careful, you'll often see them at night running across the street. Out we creep while people sleep. Soon we hope to find a heap of cheese and breadcrumbs piled deep on codfish, bones, and beets. We're heading straight for the garbage. Deep in bins we always forage, clanking tins we find in storage, apple skins and maple porridge, broccoli and sweets. Ash cans, trash cans. How we love to crash cans, marsh and smash and smash and bash cans. We'll get that lid to pop. Oh, they're smart all right, they'll figure it out. We have to throw it at a fence. People should have common sense. There wouldn't be so many dents if they'd leave off the top. What would happen if that if we did that though? We'd have a mess in our yard. This lid is on a little tight. We have to put up quite a fight. We pull and pull with all our might. 
but nothing gives until we grab the can and try to spin it. The top comes off. Look what's in it. Mm -mm. But, oh no, it's rolling down the hill. We thought we saw some cake with cream, or was it just a hungry dream? Oh no, there goes our food. It's rolling fast and gathering steam. We run, we dash. A clunk, a splash, our tiny tasty trash has fallen into the stream. We dive right in and grab it quick. Teamwork ought to do the trick. Hook a handle, poke a stick, at last we pull it out. Oh my whiskers, how delish. The can is full of flopping fish. They weren't expecting that. A super duper supper dish will have a feast of trout. Moonlight, June light, just right for raccoon night. Not too dark, not too bright when we're dining out. I hope you enjoyed that. Silly raccoons. In between, we're gonna do a little bit of a rhyme. We're going to pretend we're wearing masks like our silly raccoons look like they have a mask on, right? So we're gonna start with, they like to climb trees. Remember those paws? So we're gonna rat, we're to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle. Raccoon, raccoon, climbing a tree, wearing a mask, you can't fool me. Hiding there so I can't see what you're doing in that tree. Raccoon, raccoon, climbing a tree, wearing a mask, you can't fool me, silly raccoons. My next one is called The Troublemaker. Gee, I wonder who The Troublemaker is. Could it be that guy? Looks like he's got a toy raccoon and then a real raccoon is peeking around the corner. This is by Lauren Castillo and I'm reading it with permission from the publisher. Glasses on and here we go. I was bored. Everyone else had something to do. It's like mom and dad are working in the yard. Sister's having a tea party with her toys. And he has nothing to do. I know, Rascal. Let's play a game of pirates. Takes his toy pail, Rascal. But we have to be very sneaky. We'll need some rope. A blindfold. And let's see what else. And a prisoner. Who's going to be the prisoner, I wonder? Hmm. Uh-oh. Who's he taking? Now, we send our prisoner out to sea. Arr, arr, off you go, matey. Oh, that poor little bunny. Sister's little bunny toy is not having a good day. But look who's watching all of this. Hmm. Mom found out and she was not happy. No more taking your sister's things. What do you say? I'm sorry. Sister's not happy. Her bunny's all wet now. I was playing nicely with my own toys when I heard mom calling. Look what's happening in the back, everyone. Did you take bunny again? It's gone. It wasn't me. They didn't believe me. Hmm, I wonder why. Would you believe him? Stay here in the garden where I can keep an eye on you. Looks like he's in trouble now. But look who's peeking in the background. Is that the troublemaker? Rascal and I were collecting tomatoes for my boat. Uh-oh. But when I turned around, he was gone. Rascal, rascal. And my boat and pirate hat disappeared too. I 
I wanted to look for Rascal, but Mom said I had to wait until morning. Rascal, Rascal, Bunny, Bunny. Oh no, it's nighttime and they don't have their friends back. I miss Rascal. And I bet sister misses Bunny too. We hope they're okay. Uh-oh, what's going on? When I woke up in the morning, my blanket was missing. Mom, Dad! I heard something when I looked outside. I saw the thief. Who could it be? A sneaky raccoon. Look at him. He is all their things. What a troublemaker. He even has his dinosaur toys. Well, looks like he went and got his sister's rabbit right away. Uh-oh, they're going to have to keep their eyes out for that troublemaker. What do you think? I hope you like that story. I thought it was really cute. That's truly how mischievous raccoons are. They will sneak away with our things. My last story is called Kitty. It's by Rebecca Jordan Glum. Now, why would a raccoon be called Kitty? Let's find out. Reading this with permission from the publisher. It starts out where, don't worry about a thing, Granny said. The cat will be just fine. Looks like Grandma's doing a little bit of cat sitting. Look who's lurking outside though. Everything Granny needed to know was written on a note tape to the fridge. How convenient, thought Granny. Look at our note, it says Satsuki. That's Kitty's name. Very sweet, loves to be brushed, picky eater. And it says, please don't let the cat out. When all of a sudden, something frightened the cat. Oh no, which gave Granny quite a start. The cat leaped one way, Granny's glasses flew the other way, and the note fluttered to the floor right into the, the water dish. Oh dear, exclaimed Granny, the ink is smudged. She was relieved she could still read the words, but look at the picture. Remember what it looked like on this page? Look at the picture of Kitty. Now look at the picture of Kitty. Hmm, Granny lost her glasses and that's what she sees. It says, please don't let the cat out. Well, that shouldn't be a problem, thought Granny, but she looked out the window she saw the cat had already escaped. It looks like it, doesn't it? Well, so she grabbed the cat food and coaxed it back inside. But while she's doing that, look who ran outside. What a big appetite you have, Granny remarked. I'm feeling a bit peckish myself. Time to make cupcakes, Granny said. Kitty thought so too. Now those raccoons like to eat. Well, there they go. Uh-oh, is this gonna work out well? What do you think? Kitty stole a cupcake when Granny wasn't looking and Granny was not pleased. Someone needs a bath, she said. Kitty was not pleased, but after a good brushing, Kitty was beyond pleased. Kitty was not really used to this kind of treatment and attention. Granny spent the rest of the day trying to keep Kitty out of trouble. This wasn't easy. easy. Look at that kitty climbing up on the drapes. No, no, no. What a troublemaker. Night fell and Granny went to bed. She had enough. While she's sleeping, crunch, crunch, nibble, nibble, wheeze, squish, thunk, crash, whoosh. Kitty did not go to sleep. Oh my goodness, this is what was going on. Crunch, 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 nibble, wheeze, squish, thunk, crash. 
What on earth is this going on? What a mess. Whoosh! There goes Kitty flying across the, the ceiling chandelier. When the sun rose, Granny felt like she hadn't slept a wink. Kitty had eventually gone to bed and never slept better. And then the family was home. It's a pity I can't stay, she muttered, and she dashed out the door. Gee, I wonder why Granny wanted to get away so fast. Kitty was a perfect angel, really, she shouted with only one thought. Thank goodness I don't have a cat. Look who's on her car going home with her. And will Granny figure out that that wasn't a kitty at all? Who knows? But I thought that story was lots of fun. I hope you liked it too. And we have a wonderful craft that I'd like to share with you of, of course, one of our cute little friends that are so mischievous, a rascally raccoon. So stay tuned for that. Now it's to my, time to make a cool rascally raccoon. So this is pretty simple, everyone. So all you need to do is come in, you'll get, you'll get our craft, and you're gonna get everything you need to cut out. So what you're gonna get is your raccoon pieces. We've got his body, which is this, his arms, and his ears, his pointy ears. And you've got his face and his tail. And of course, those little cute little feet that are just like another set of hands. And of course, then his cool mask face and his white tummy. And then he's holding an apple and you get to make your own leaf for the apple. It adds a nice little color to that. So all you need to do in this craft, everybody, is cut everything out. Cut out all your parts. I'm gonna show you that already done. So when you have all your parts, and I don't have my big part, cut that out. So after you're done, I'm gonna start by cutting out my body. Once again, it's a lot of cutting out, so take your time. This is probably the hard part, cutting everything out. So a little bit of work on your end to cut things out. You'll have a picture of the finished one too. So here's your body. And then you, you're gonna glue on his little white tummy. Then the face is here. I don't know if you see, I've got these little dotted lines on the face. That's gonna kind of help you put his mask where it should go. So that's kind of a little bit tricky. So you're gonna have these two pieces and you're gonna kind of glue them like this. See where those little lines are? Just see how I did that? Then everyone's gonna get a little pom-pom for the nose. And of course his tail, his cool striped tail is gonna stick out from the side. Then you've got his arms, which are gonna come down. They're gonna be holding his apple, like that. And of course you got his cute little pointy ears, like that, glue those on. And then you got his cute little feet, and you're gonna glue those that. And of course, I thought the apple added a nice a bit of color. And did you know raccoons really love apples? And then you just cut out a leaf out of the green paper. Just make an oval shape as the leaf. And that adds a nice little bit of color. And vo voila, there is your raccoon. So I hope you enjoy this. Like I said, with, as with all of our crafts, if you could would like to share your finished craft with us, on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. We'd love to see what you come up with. So I hope you enjoy this. See you soon. Thanks so much for coming to our virtual story time today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Um, if you'd like to show us your finished craft, you can comment, you can share it with us on one of our social media posts. So thanks once again for coming to our virtual story time. And I'm Miss Teresa saying bye.